I'm Miles Skinner, a PhD student in the University of Alberta in the Department of Mechanical Engineering, and I study advanced composite materials used in energy storage. So the next question here, what is biomass? Biomass is, uh, so we can just break down what it sounds like. Bio means life, and we know what mass is. It's just uh, weight or it's stuff. So this is, uh, so biomass is just things that are alive or used to be alive. So plants count as biomass. Um, wood counts as biomass. Um, you know, any kind of organic material counts as biomass. And uh, what we use this for is we, we can use this to generate energy by basically burning it in the same way that we burn uh, oil or natural gas or coal. Uh, the difference here between biomass and all of those is biomass is renewable. So there's only a limited amount of oil. There's only a limited amount of natural gas. Uh, and those materials, those things take, those things started as biomass and over millions of years, they were converted into oil using high pressures and high temperatures deep in the earth. What we can do is instead of digging that up or pumping it out of the ground, we can just grow some plants or use plants that are already growing and uh, collect those and burn them instead of having to burn oil or natural gas. And this is a really great way to do things because uh, this is almost what we call carbon neutral or what we're really worried about with uh, climate change is the amount of carbon dioxide that we put into the atmosphere from burning oil. And that's because when you burn oil, you take carbon that wasn't there before and you burn it and then you put it into the atmosphere. With the biomass, we have, we, to grow plants, we need to take carbon out of the environment, out of the atmosphere, and it gets converted into plant material. And then when we burn it, that gets released. So we take some out of the atmosphere, we grow plants, and then we burn the plants and we release the uh, carbon back to the atmosphere. And so um, this change, the amount of carbon that gets consumed from growing the plants and is released from burning the plants is about the same. And so the impact on the environment is very low. And the other great thing is we grow a lot of plants already for other things. Like when you grow corn, we only eat the uh, ear of the corn or the corn on the cob. We only eat the fruits of the corn, but the stalk and the leaves and all of those we don't eat. Um, and so those usually get thrown away or composted or fed to animals, but we could also just collect it and burn it. And um, so it's already a waste product that we can then find a use for which is great because we're reusing something that we've already put the effort into creating. So uh, the same is true for um, like lumber, softwood lumber. Um, we collect, we grow a bunch of trees to produce two by fours and build houses and things, but not all of the tree can be converted into a two by four or into a building material. There's a lot of uh, waste there. And so all of that extra wood can then be burned and generate energy from that. And so with biomass energy, we can take plants that we are already growing to produce other things like food and building materials, and we can generate heat and energy from the waste products. And so this, and we can do it uh, without significantly impacting the environment. And so this is a great option for a lot of uh, energy generation, especially in places that are uh, more remote, but have a lot of, um, you know, waste products. So places where there's a lot of uh, lumber milling going on aren't always very close to cities or very close to power plants, but if they had a biomass plant, they produce a lot of waste wood or waste materials from the process of making lumber and that can then be used to generate energy that they then use to produce more wood. And so this can be a, a really nice use for a lot of, um, you know, waste products like 
extra wood, um, you know, scraps from food production, things like that. So, um, yeah, biomass. It's just live or used to be living plants that we can then burn and produce energy from in a very sustainable way. So uh, thanks for the great question. Thank you so much for watching Future Energy Systems Ask an Expert series. If you have your own question, submit it on our website. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of our exciting content. Check out the links below to our website and learning page where you can find activities, learning extension, and more. You can also sign up on the website for notifications for future videos and interactive opportunities. There's so much to learn as we explore our energy future.